Hey Fair Oaks, Pastor Chad here with an update on our plan to reopen the building. I know many of you are eager to hear this update and so I'll start with the punchline and then work my way back from there. Uh, starting on Sunday, November 1st, we will be moving back indoors into our sanctuary for worship on Sunday mornings. And so what that means is for the next three Sundays between now and then, our plan is to Lord willing continue to gather for worship outdoors underneath the oak tree. And so I want to encourage you to keep looking on Saturday night at that banner at the top of our website to make sure that we're clear to do that, to make sure that there's no smoke or rain, or I don't know if locusts are next in 2020, um, but just to make sure that we are good to go before you show up on Sunday morning. That's our plan for the next three weeks to continue to get to gather outside under the oak tree. And then starting on Sunday, November 1st, we will be moving back indoors for worship on Sunday mornings. And so I know that when it comes to moving indoors, there's going to be a lot of different comfort levels with that. And so what I want to do is just tell you a little bit about our plan for that so that you can know what to expect and that you can make the best decision for you and for your family. The first thing I want to share is that we will be following social distancing protocols as outlined by the county. And so what that practically means is from the time you walk in the doors, you're going to see that every other pew is completely shut down and then that each pew has a dividing line in the middle. And what we are asking is that you and the people you come with, kind of your social bubble, would stay on one side of that dividing line on the pews that are open. What that's going to enable is that's going to give you good social distance from the people in front of you, from the people behind you, to, from the people to the left, and the people to the right. This is how we um, can maintain those social distance protocols while all being together for worship. Um, and then along with that, we are going to have the room capped at 100 people um, in accordance with the county guidelines for this phase of the reopening process. Now, we will have an overflow room, so no one's going to get turned away. If we have more than that come, we'll have a room ready for people. But I say all of this to say get here early uh, on Sunday, November 1st to get a good seat um, for our first gathering back indoors. Now the second thing I want to share is that we are also following the county guidelines when it comes to um, masks indoors. And so what that means is from the time you get out of your car, we ask that you and all of your children over the age of two would have masks on the entire time you were here worshiping with us. And then, you know, you get back in the car, you can pull that off, go home um, and have a great day there. I know not everyone loves wearing the mask, but this is how we can gather right now. Um, and so want to just ask that you would um, follow those guidelines for all the time that you are here with us worshiping, that you would have a mask on. Um, I look forward to the day when we can gather with um, unveiled faces. We're, uh, we're not quite there yet, but we are able to begin gathering indoors again, and that is exciting. Um, the third thing I do want to share about this is um, for those of you that, uh, for whatever reason, aren't going to feel comfortable gathering indoors, I think I said this in a previous video, but the last thing I would want for you is for you to come out of a sense of obligation and just be worried the whole time, like, am I doing what, the right thing here? Um, if you don't feel good about gathering indoors, I want to encourage you to continue to gather with us on line. Um, what we are going to be doing starting on Sunday, November 1st is we're actually up in our online game where there's going to be a live chat where you can, uh, we're going to have a host of the service on there and talk with one another. So we're going to be doing special things on November 1st, even if you can't join us in person, but I um, really want to free you up during these crazy times to make the best decision for you and your family. And so we're trying to provide these different lanes and these different avenues that you can do that in a way that's safe, in a way um, that is comfortable, and in a way um, that allows you to be a part of the gathering of God's people, which is so key to our faith. And so um, those are the things I want to share there. Um, I know there's no update on the family front yet. We do not currently have plans to restart children's ministry. Uh, we are watching all of the county guidelines and all of what's coming in the county um, so that as soon as the county says that it's good for kids to leave their parents and have their own thing on a Sunday, uh, we'll be eager to reopen our Sunday school. But uh, we're not there yet. Uh, when we get there, we'll certainly have an update for you. But for now, kids are going to join in with parents. Worship guides will continue to be available um, on Sunday, November 1st when we do move in the building. And until then, we get three more great weeks under the oak tree. Uh, really looking forward to that. I think this is, we're going to look back 30 years from now and see this as a real special time in the life of our church. So I want to encourage you uh, to continue gathering with us this Sunday if you're able under the oak tree. We'll see you then.